Okay guys, Robus Metal, welcome back to Perfect Dark. Final mission, Skedar Ruins. This this game has been really angering me, especially this last level. I think I finally got it perfectly figured out though. We're gonna take it slow, we're gonna kill some aliens, and we're gonna save the universe. Like a pro. Let's get started. We'll just be silent so y'all can enjoy this plot. So let me get this straight. It's holy. Oh, Joanna. There's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. All of the time the Green Lions fought the Skidar. We never found this place. We knew that until it was destroyed, the war would never be over. We fought the Skidar to a standstill. We earned a ceasefire, but we always had to be on our guard. The destruction of this place would be a chance of true peace. Hmm. All right. Then we have to be certain that no fanatics survive. I'll go in and take out the leader. You'll have to summon the Mayan fleet to level the shrine. If you're caught on the ground when the fleet gets here, you won't stand a chance. That's a mistake. I kind of looks like a baby me. Triceratops. Oh, well, actually, looks more like a Tyranid. <laughs> You know, their solution to the Skedar problem, it's like the American solution to the Japanese in World War II. Total destruction. Not too swell. Alright, guys. So, just take it. I'm gonna take this nice and slow. Because these guys do lots of damage. If you're not careful. Because they have these gigantic minigun things. They have invisible dudes that teleport in, and it's overall a bug, a bugger. So also, okay, we have to destroy five of these, but well, we're required to destroy three of them. But we have the threes we're required to destroy to show up as yellow dots with the R tracker, and you throw the target amplifier on them. But there's two of them that you can't do that for. But you get a special weapon if you manage to destroy them anyway. So we're going to make sure to do that with the Devastator. It's important we don't miss though, otherwise we can kind of get stuck. And there's a bad guy who's going to teleport behind us. Yeah, this level's a pain in the ass. Also, despite the fact that we're under the three holy sons of the Skedar, it's, there's, there's snow. So, you know, can't be that hot. Usually a bad guy spawns back here. I guess not this time. Oh, uh, alright. Let's see, so two more will spawn in this hallway. We can just do that. And that'll take care of them. Okay. Now this one's kind of funky, cause... One of them spawns. I know he spawns. Okay. He's spawning in a weird... There he is. Alright. I don't think we're supposed to destroy this one. So... Or we're supposed to track this one, so we'll use the grenade launcher on that. There's a bad guy at the end of this tunnel with a gun. If he catches you off guard, you can take some nasty damage. Which is always upsetting. Okay, so that's the other one. They're all they're all in this area. Okay. So try to strafe behind the corners. Sorry. Oh! Die, 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 die. Die. He died. Alright. So, okay. Take a breather, guys. There's no more bad guys for at least one minute. Or at least 15 seconds. Let me go in here. 
and we'll have two more drop in on us. We'll use the automatic fire here just to make short work of them. Alright, and to amplify the last one. Stay away from these because they do explode and it does damage to you and it's super obnoxious. You, you want as much health as possible on this map. Is It's the final level. Let's see. Oh, it's going to explode. There we go. So now we go this way and we have some special guns that are going to make this level a lot easier if I can just pick them up. There we go. Watch this. We have we have dual wielding pistol grenade launchers basically. Super nice. So yeah, normally you're supposed to use the grenade launcher to take out these weak sections of wall, but you can just use the double phoenixes. These are the little pistols that uh, Elvis had in his hands earlier in the game. It's not quite the far sight, but it will more than get the job done. All right. So there's a way you can go which will get you a shield here also, but I think we gotta drop down first. Shoot out that, okay. That takes care of that. This is the way towards the shield. There's two guys here, they have guns, so be careful of that. We're doing really good so far. We've taken no damage and we've got a shield. We're going to switch to the Callisto for a bit, because they're going to be helpful, because now we get to deal with teeny tiny baby Skedar. Acute, and green, and obnoxious, and they make me hate my life. Also, here's where we get to see just how ahead of its time Perfect Dark is. For the N64 at least. See this shit? We're about to see something crazy. See that bridge? How are we going to get across it? We can't. There's there's nothing. There's just an abyss. And there's no there's no discernible switches in here. What are we going to do? Oh, wait. These look similar. And it moves. Oh my god. Physics puzzles. On the N64. Oh. Suck that dick, Half-Life. Can't get can't count into three, motherfucker, Gabe Newell, bitch. Alright, that was mean. But, alright. We are getting there. Making some progress. I feel like there's a couple that are gonna chase behind me. Oh, okay, not today. Sometimes you can avoid spawns of enemies. Alright, so we gotta be careful here, because these guys have rocket launchers, actually, and they will shred your ass. See, you gotta dodge them, and if... See, it has... the explosions have the same properties they have in Goldeneye, where they stay on the screen. I guess you can also shoot the rocket. Alright, so you're supposed to make a sacrifice to the god of war. And you do that by dropping the slayer. When you drop something. I don't know what it what it's supposed to be. What's the slayer's secondary fire option, I wonder? <sighs> Come on. point this away for it. fly by wire rocket oh there we go so that reactivates the generator and then we go upstairs these doors are really obnoxious We are just about at the final boss, guys. And shoot that! Oh, he's not nice. 
That was a really tiny shield that I got, wasn't it? Okay. We are in the inner sanctum. Mr. Door. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So we get a little survival wave here where we gotta kill all the Skedar in these pods. It's not too tough. But it's there, so... And then we have ourselves a boss battle coming up. So yeah, it's this level's a lot easier if you get yourself the double phoenixes. It's so much easier. I mean, they look like giant testicle, giant blue testicle guns, but there you go. What, what can you do? The game is not perfect. Far from it. Skedar secret army has been defeated. <sighs> that just leaves the big Chalupa himself baby head looking motherfucker all right so let's do it we have to deplete his shields and then he, he prays to to his little fucking statue shoots rockets at us we got to shoot the statue take the spikes out dodge the rockets also, he summons bad guys. Alright, we are just about there. We have just about got this motherfucker. Oh my god, then I don't have to play Perfect Dark anymore. I'm gonna be so happy. Oh, here we go! Oh, we did it! <gasps> Wrecked! Yes! Guys, we did it. Oh no! Time to run, girl! Alright. That was tough. Y'all haven't seen the seven other tries I've made on this. I've been playing this level for the last three hours. Joanna. I'm ashamed to say. Joanna. Joanna! Did I sacrifice myself? Elvis! 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 Over here! No oh, I was almost a Joe sandwich. No, no, quick! Give me your gun! Give me your gun! You just... Let go! Ow! Oh, they had my leg. I, to get I don't need no man, I just need a gun. They'll start as soon as we're clear. I'm Mighty nice of you, Elvis. my foot. Of course, Joanna. Of course. Of... No, yeah, I'll sure. Get her. I believe you. <laughs> Elvis Totes believes us. All right, guys, we did it. We got an achievement too. Beat the game on special agent. Whew. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Now we get cool credits. Four J Studios. They did the conversion, I guess. Well, that was perfect arc in '64 port to the Xbox 360. Through the rare collection which I'm playing on the Xbox One. But yeah, that was, it was good. I'm glad I played it. It was a game I enjoyed as a kid. I thought it was super cool. I still say it's better than Goldeneye, but god damn, it gets difficult and frustrating towards the end. Whew. That's another game slayed. So, I guess I can let y'all know what I'm working on probably have already been coming out but I wanted to
play Dead Rising, but I feel like it's too close to Resident Evil, like to that other Capcom game. So, yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna play The Last of Us on the PS4. So that'll be cool. Yeah, well, if you guys enjoyed this, or don't enjoy this, or whatever, or had any kind of opinions, let me know. I got a few comments on these videos. Some fellas I know told me they liked it, so I'm doing it for you guys. If you'll have any games you'd like to see me play, similar in this vein, or just any suggestions at all, I'm always open to suggestions. Throw it out in the comments. And, uh... So glad to be done with this goddamn game. This music's kind of badass, though. I just played the game for Elvis, honestly, for the for the Mayan space booty. There is a lot of other stuff to this, though. Like the multiplayer is really fun. You can play with bots. You can play with like eight bots, I think. Uh, they scaled up the multiplayer a bit for this. And what else? They have, like, Carrington Institute missions. You can walk around the Institute. There is one last level called Mr. Blonde's Revenge. But you have to do something. You have to beat the game on Perfect Agent. Or you have to uh, do all of the, uh, the trials in the Institute on Perfect Agent. I think... I don't know. Let's, let's look it up while this... This is... This is rolling. Let's see. Um, complete data dine defection to skid our ruins on agent to unlock this mi- well, I guess I'll have had this mission. Hmm. Well, there's like two extra missions actually. <coughs> Actually, I think there's three extra missions. Yeah, so if you beat... So if you beat the game on... Agent, you get Mr. Blonde's Revenge. If you beat the game on Secret Agent, you get... Mayan SOS. If you beat the game on Perfect Agent, which I'm not bothering you to do, you get the War mission. Which is, uh... Let's see, what are you? You're like, uh... You play as Elvis and send a distress signal for. Huh. Okay. But yeah, so th they're extra missions. I'm not gonna play them unless there's a lot of demand for me to play them. And by demand, I mean like two people ask me to play it. Then I'll do it. But I don't feel. I definitely don't feel like playing this game on Perfect Agent. I wish these credits would end so I could go take a shit. <sighs> Volt testers, what does that even mean? Because I guess that was one of the companies who either designed it or ordered it up. Special thanks. I'm sure you guys are all very special, especially you, Li Shunmin and Sai Hoon Lee and Don Chad Murphy, Sergey Rachmanov, Keith Rabbit. Oi, don't don't tell me you guys get a credit run too. They do. Good lord, this this will never end. I'm tempted to skip it. Come on, 
please, and I need to take a shit. I really need to take it. It's a big, fat, steamy one. <sighs> oh, the original team. Great. Ockham? I mean, right now, I'm just hanging out on Facebook. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just looking at funny little pictures. This is stupid. What does this mean? <laughs> How do nerds shower? The same as you, stupid. We get nice and wet, and then we roll for initiative. How do German people shower? Wait, bodybuilder? <laughs> what is, wait, what's going on? Have I been missing this? Perfect locations in Vox. Let's see. These guys are kind of full of themselves. Well-packed man. Nice. What, what, let's see. Banging hardcore tunes. Guess he did the music. DD snipers. I don't know what that means. Dunkin' Donuts? Mike Curry Currington. Why don't they capitalize their names? I think they just, the DD snipers deserve capitalization. The Fearsome Foursome. Sounds kinky. Trent's Hitchman. Voices in the dark. Sounds kinky. Rare exterminators. That's kind of depressing considering what Microsoft did to Rare. Going through the motions. Duncan Bot. Ah, fuck you, Microsoft. Confidential unpublished work. What does that mean? Perfect Dark is forever. I thought it was James Bond is forever. That's that. Do we get any secret stuff? What does that sound? Is something gonna happen? I don't. Th oh, what? What is this? Oh, oh it's the logo. All right, boys, that was Perfect Dark. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed most of it. Starting to get a little frustrated towards the end. 
it's good for a nostalgia playthrough. Joanna's nice, she's a badass. Trademark. You just had to sneak that in, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, man, hurry up. In this game, is it running on an infinite loop? Is it? It is. Screw that, we're done. Alright guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Hit, hit the like button 69 times for me. Subscribe, share, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm Robazmental, and I will see you all in the next playthrough. Thanks for